I don't expect this to be a very long video, so if you could stay to the end, so that the YouTube algorithm gods that look over me will bless me, that would be most appreciated. If you'll excuse me there for just a moment, I'm a little bit hungry. But today, I want to cover something that uh, I don't really see many people talk about or use, probably because it's crazy expensive, but that would be the Bars Barrel for the AK series. Pretty much to keep it short, what the Bars Barrel basically is, it's a barrel attachment that ups your fire rate from 600 RPM up to 850, lovely. It lowers your damage pretty substantially, and your accuracy kind of, it's like a mix of being really, really good and really bad. And you might be wondering why use something like this over the Halbeck device if you really want negative recoil. So here is using the Bars Barrel. And then this is with the Halbeck device. It just goes straight down, instead of actually having like a balanced recoil pattern. I don't have the muzzle booster, but it doesn't increase the fire rate by too much, and at that point, it's not gonna help recoil at all like the Bars Barrel does. So like, bruh, just use that. Though it is crazy expensive, I can actually show you. I don't have it on the AK-105, but it's uh, it's a little pricey, and you gotta have uh, a lot of kills for it. Plus, the one for the AK-103 is uh, it's just superior. Honestly, with the AK-105, I mostly just discount it because it's basically inferior to the AK-103 in every capacity. And uh, though it really doesn't matter because using a sight is better, it does change your front iron sight, which I guess is pretty cool. And just to give it that little bit of extra firepower to return some of the damage here, I'm gonna go ahead and slap hollow point on it. And uh, I'm pretty sure that that's gonna make this thing like an up-close death machine. I mean, look at that fire rate, that accuracy. Literally, this gun cuts through people like a knife that just came out of the dishwasher cutting through a warm stick of butter. Oh man, I'm hungry. That's not to say that this doesn't have its issues. At a distance, it's not super great because of that whole like thing where it kind of goes more side to side than anything else. But up close, the damage that you're outputting with this is just insane. That combined with the fire rate just makes this honestly one of, if not the best AK in the game. Easy pre-fire for days, dude. Though I am not really liking that whole side to side thing that it's doing. With that said though, if you are kind of good at managing how you're shooting, if you more just kind of like shoot a little bit and then stop and then shoot a little bit and then stop, it seems to really mediate how fast the whole side to side thing starts. So like my first maybe 10 shots or so are gonna be basically completely accurate here. Hello, can you stop teleporting please? That'd be really nice. I'm completely out of ammo for this. For how long have I been alive for? This guy's trying out the different games. Okay, that's cool. Good for you, man. And this guy's looking up into the sky. Okay. I swear, man, the people in this game are something else. Oh, dude, God, that close ranges, man. This thing is just too good. Holy crap. There's not a crazy amount else that I can say about this one specifically, except for the fact that it turns it into the AK-109. But the question is, can we turn the AK-105 with the bars barrel into something actually usable? Oh, I guess we're gonna have to find out. And for that, my good sirs, we go to the test place. I mean, literally, I'm already seeing like massive differences between these two. The lesser range, the lower long range damage. The fire rate stays the same. The accuracy seems a little bit better on this though. But you know, you also get 16 damage, so. So, you know, do with that what you will, I guess. For close range, you are still getting the same damage as you are with the other one. So really not much is gonna change. I think you are getting a faster reload time though, but I could be wrong, I'll have to check. Why do all the points say N? They just say N on them. <laughs> navigate, navigate to this location. You know what? Okay. I will say that this does make the AK-105, is it? I guess, better. Like, it makes it actually serviceable. But the thing is, you have to put so many credits into making it good, at least in my opinion. And again, literally, the AK-103 is statistically just the superior gun. Yeah, okay. It is a little bit faster reload time, too, so there's that, I guess. It's just generally, like, an AK-103, but a little bit faster, with everything except for fire rate, that is. Plus, I mean, listen to that sound. Doesn't that sound so much cooler than... And doesn't this... Sound cooler than... Because I think so, in my opinion. <laughs> as far as damage goes, I guess that the AK-103 variant is going to be better, but like, I, I don't know. I guess maybe it's subjective depending on your playstyle. But honestly, just, I don't know, man. AK-105, pretty much the same thing, but worse. Uh, I mean, there's not much else that I can really say. Like, the bars barrel just kind of is what it is. And I mean, like, you know, having that crazy high fire rate's pretty dope too, I guess. Is that a spy plane? Did somebody call us spy plane? What are we playing Call of Duty? Actually, that'd be pretty cool. The bars barrel is actually something that I didn't find out about until too long ago, maybe a couple of months ago. I think I saw it while I was like live streaming or recording a video or something and I tried it and I thought it was really, really cool. But it wasn't until recently until I decided to get it. I don't really regret it. This is kind of cool. It's a bit of a novelty, but honestly, I don't really use the AK-103 enough for it to be necessarily the most justified purchase in the world. Oh God, I just remembered that I bought the 50 round drum for the Uzi as well. Oh God. I'm making some big brain credit purchases, boys. But uh, I guess I'm gonna have to leave it off here for the most part. Not really too much else to say. If you wanna give it a try without like actually committing to buying it, you can try it in the test place. I'll leave that linked in the description below. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications. Stay safe and peace.
Dude, he's the one to my hut. What a big little guy. Guy's still heaven, guys. Heaven. He's still heaven. Guy's, guy's still heaven. You <laughs> can you walk my <right> back. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> 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 <laughs>